I'm joined on the sofa now by Jane McGonagall, who is an author and games developer, and by Mark Holden, who is head of planning at PhD. Why he is here will be revealed in a bit. Um, Jane, you've been here to talk gaming, specifically to tell us that gaming is not necessarily a bad thing, in fact not a bad thing at all, and it could be good and it can make the world a better place. You came up with some really interesting stats, so why don't we start there? Well, some people are alarmed about gaming because we're spending seven billion hours a week playing games, and that seems like a waste of time. But research is now showing that the more you play games, up to 21 hours a week, the more motivated you are to solve more ambitious challenges, the more resilient you are in the face of failure, and the better able you are to collaborate with other people. You told the audience today about how we can sort of harness that. Why is gaming good for you? Well, if you put gamers into the fMRI machine, which shows the different parts of the brain, how they're being lit up during activity, you see that the parts of the brain that are really lit up during gameplay are the motivation reward center and the learning and memory center. So you've got sort of caudate thalamus, makes you feel really determined, you'll do whatever it takes to reach your goal. And you've got the hippocampus, which helps you learn new information, develop new habits, continue on with behavior that you've been practicing. So so you have this opportunity to teach somebody a new skill, get them feeling really optimistic and ambitious, and then lock 